But we'll start with the elder member of the squad, the senior, before we get to Cameron. That's Hannah. Hannah. Hi. Ha hello. And how about this match? Clarion comes here tonight. And unlike Friday night when they lost that first set, they came here, played very well in the first set, and took that first uh, set from your club. Did that serve as maybe a bit of a wake-up call to you and your teammates that, hey, we just can't throw the ball out on the floor and expect to keep winning on our home floor? Yeah, um, we have this saying this season, um, point by point, set by set. Um, so even after that first set, we knew that we had a lot of volleyball left to play and a lot of, a lot of room left to grow. So it was a bit of a, a bit of a wake up call, yeah. yes. But um, I think we handled it with, with grace and composure, and came out swinging in the second set too. I don't know if the coaches have shared this with you. I mentioned it during the broadcast by winning here tonight. Seton Hill University has had their first unblemished home record. I know their, it's the coolest thing. Right in their program's history, been a lot of good teams. Excuse me, and players that have come along, but never have they done what this team has done. Yeah, it's. It's really nice to leave that legacy behind. Yeah, and the legacy, of course, winning the PSAC Championship Division for the first time mm -hmm. on Friday night. That's the first. This has been a remarkable season uh, with this team. When you ladies came into it, I know you always think you can to do well, but was that something that you would think about? We would win the PSAC Division for the first time and not lose a home match at the McKenna Center. That's something quite uh, remarkable. Yeah, well, we've we've got something bigger to play for this year. All right. Oh, yes, indeed. And I talked a little bit about that uh, here. This match here tonight, uh, the crowd is a big advantage for you folks. Absolutely. And it seems like, and I'm talking to Chris Snyder, the athletic director for the match, your crowd is doing good things. They're not being inappropriate, you right. know, with the other team. We've, uh, we've, had a, we've had a chat with them in the years past. Okay. But, yeah, our student section is absolutely incredible, and their support means everything to us. You played your last home match of your career. You're one of the yeah. group of three seniors, and one red shirt junior, and Leah Busy Nanny. Uh, how sweet is it to go out with a big victory in the first round of the PSAC tournament, the last time you will be on your home court? Couldn't ask for anything more, yeah. honestly. It's been a dream come true playing here for four years, and to, to leave this gym behind undefeated is honestly all I could have asked for and, in this season. Yeah, and what a season it's been. Uh, I don't think I've asked you this before, but if I did, please bear with me. Uh, so far during your experience at Seton Hill, volleyball, what would you say has been one of your more memorable moments? And as a student here, the other side of the question oh, would man. be, what, what has been something that really stands out as a student here at Seton Hill? Um, volleyball. volleyball first? Yeah, volleyball first. Um, well, my freshman year, I came in as like this plucky little DS, and I played behind Lauren Teed. Oh, yeah. And watching her play and watching the way that she led her team from the back row um, was a really important uh, stepping stone for me to sort of step into my own on this team. Um, and honestly, from a volleyball standpoint, I don't remember everything that has ever happened. I remember the people okay. and the, the teams that I have been on have made – I'm gonna get all emotional. Hang on. Oh, hang on. <laughs> they've made every. They've made it everything to me. Um, and like I said, when I when I do graduate and when I leave this place behind, like I'm not gonna remember the volleyball. I'm gonna remember the people. Oh yeah, and that's usually the thing is the relationships that you develop. You yeah. know, the times and the practices and the camps and on the buses and things like that. Uh, before we ask you to give your thoughts about the performance of this freshman from California. What has been some of you've had? Have you had any humorous experiences or fun experiences when you've been on the road? Well, <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. um, a lot of them I won't say. All right. Some of them are kind of embarrassing. Okay. Um, who threw that at me, Bryn? I think it was Bryn. There was there was one time we were sitting on the bench. It was this year, and I was like looking for my towel, and I couldn't find it because like my hands got really sweaty, and I like turned to ask somebody, and it's directly in my face oh, because Bryn had decided to throw it at me. Oh, um, another one was on Saturday when Cam decided in warm up to Stop. hit a ball Stop. into my eye, oh, geez. and I missed. I, I, like five minutes before the I game. missed oh. like 20 minutes of our warm up trying to like get the swelling down in my eye so I could play against IUP. That was funny. Real sorry about that. <laughs> Your yeah. thoughts on this freshman, how has she come along? It seems like oh, ever man. since the Shepherd match that we had on Westmoreland Sports, I called it her coming out party because she played some quality time. <laughs> Absolutely. And she did some really good things on the court. And then she had another good match after that. And then here tonight, I thought she was a spark Absolutely. when she came on the court. Talk a little bit about what, um, you, what you see in her. 
Cam has been one of the smartest players that I've ever had the privilege to play with. Um, she's a pain in the butt to practice against because I can't read her hand at all. Okay. Um, and I'm that's. <laughs> um, but she's she's calm and she is consistent, and sometimes that is what we need on the court. And we have so much depth on our bench this year that it is honestly a shame that we can't get her on the court as much as we would like to. Um, but the moments where she does come in, she steps up and she brings the rest of us up too. Um, she's definitely a little spark plug. Yeah, she's my mentee. All right. She was my she's mine. I right. asked her all my stupid me. questions oh, at the okay. beginning of the year. Now, yeah. parents, were they here tonight or were they enjoying the broadcast back in Troy, Michigan? My mom's right here. Oh, your mom's up here? Yeah. Okay. Is your father with her? Uh, he's not. He's working. He's okay. He's got a, a job that he needs to right. stay well, home for. He'll be able, but he'll be I'm able, sure he was watching. But the, I'm sure yeah. if he has, he'll be able to catch the interview on the archive. <laughs> uh, but congratulations. Oh, we don't know yet who you're playing because they're going to the fifth set between Shippensburg and Millersville at mm -hmm. Shippensburg, and uh, we don't have that final just yet. Uh, Gannon did defeat East Stroudsburg, so they'll be hosting, so you'll be going to Erie on Friday right. for the semifinals. But uh, again, you've been a, a wonderful representative of a student athlete, great person. Plus, you and I share both the love of theater. Absolutely. Theater, <laughs> theater, and I remember I told your parents that I was going to see after, I think, the ship, the Shepherd match. I had to get I think it been. to go watch Leslie Odoms Jr. Uh, from Hamilton and, and yeah. stage and screen perform. <laughs> He's really good. And your He's mother, really good. Her mother says to me, Cameron, oh, my daughter's going to be so jealous. So the next <laughs> match on a Tuesday, the following Tuesday, I come in to broadcast the match. She comes up to me and says, how was the concert? And then we start talking about that. So I always enjoy talking with a person that also enjoys cultural events like that. And, uh, continue good luck to see you take care of business at the Hammer Mill Center. Yes, thank you. All right, hand that over to the Golden State Zone. Cameron, for real. Cameron, I said that earlier, you and I have to talk before every broadcast because it seems like when you do, you deliver. I thought when you came in, you felt comfortable you fit in, you didn't let the bigness of the playoff match get to you, and you really helped the team along. That had to really boost your confidence to come in. You were in there for like a minute, you ended up getting a point and a block, and that was just a sign of things to come for you. Congratulations Thank on you. a very good performance here tonight. Thank you. Uh, you had mentioned to me that in California there's some outstanding volleyball. It's a big state, and a lot of people involved, and club uh, volleyball is big. Uh, how has your club experience helped develop your game where you can come in at the Division II level and be able to fit in uh, rather quickly? So for my club experience, I've always been surrounded by a lot of D1 athletes, or at least who are now playing D1. There's a, One of my old teammates is actually a starter at Penn State. Okay. Who uh, is that, by the way? Serena Gray. Okay, give her a shout out. That's fine. <laughs> Serena's great. I love her. Okay. Um, but just being around that high level of athletes, just for me, volleyball has always been a fun sport to play that like challenges me, but it's not something that I find super stressful. It's just going out and playing a game. And so games like this, I'm like, I'm used to this. I've been here before. I enjoy this. Like this is something that I find really fun to do. So you're, you're motivated when you notice a big match and a big game and, yeah. and play well. You certainly contribute in a lot of ways. I like some of the joust you got involved in out there in that front row. You're 5'9", is that about right? Yeah. And you're going against some six foot Olsen and, and Driscoll and some of those girls out there. But I saw you getting up there, touching the ball, same time, same place they were. So is jumping one of your best attributes as a player? You got good hops? I do try. That's one of the big things that I've been working on for my whole life because I've known I've been a short player and I'm, that's one of the things that like I need to have and then I also need to be smart, but like I needed to be able to like get up there and compete with the players that were really tall that I've always been surrounded by. <laughs> right. Let's talk a little bit about what brought you to Seton Hill University. Uh, we're talking, we've been talking with Hannah Muller right now. We're talking with Cameron Burrell, the outstanding freshman that played very well tonight. When you were being recruited, what kind of intrigued you about coming to be part of Seton Hill University and the volleyball program? So I decided to come here because of the med tech program. And the campus was also just absolutely gorgeous. I was able to come here during um, the summer and the fall. So I got to see it when it was like hot-ish. You were telling me before the broadcast, you did come to Seton Hill with a couple winter coats though. Yes, I did bring winter coats. I had them approved by my sweet mates. Okay, all right. <laughs> so you wanted to be prepared. But you were telling me, you know, you like to experience the four seasons. Yeah, you California know. is way too hot for me. Oh, okay, well, you were hot on the court along with your teammates <laughs> tonight, that's for sure. Is there somebody in your bodies you want to shout out to out there in 
California that had a chance to watch this match tonight? My dad. I love him. I'm so happy he's able to watch the games. <laughs> okay, well, you gave him a lot to be smiling about out there in California. He'll, he'll certainly sleep well tonight. Well, congratulations to both Hannah and to uh, Cameron and the rest of the team. You took care of business and what's been a remarkable season. And like you were saying, Hannah, maybe there's a certain spirit that's kind of driving this team because, and I said this during the broadcast, for all the viewers that do here, this Seton Hill team has shown me with the way you played this year, particularly down this stretch where you've now won nine straight matches in a row, that this, the environment is not too big. The match is no longer too big for Seton Hill. There's been some programs in the past, you were on you know, some of those teams, that when we had to go to Cal and win a match that was going to position you to maybe have a better shot at winning the division title, couldn't get the job done. Right. You did it this year. You get in here today, you get challenged by a Cal team that uh, has got a lot of talented players. You knocked them off for the second time in four matches. This team seems to be a cut above what I've seen in Seton Hill Volleyball. I think you guys can do a lot if you continue to play with that same level of focus and uh, unselfishness that you have. And if that's the case, there's going to be a lot more volleyball to be played. Thank you both for Thank joining you. us on our post-match show. That is Hannah, number 15, the libero, and wearing the Maggie Murray jersey, the freshman Cameron Burrell. So we want to thank them for joining us.